So now I'm joined by Aria Lumi, who is the incoming chair of the AUA's uh, Research Committee. Aria, welcome. Thanks Appreciate for having you. me. So you're incoming uh, research chair. Well, what does that job entail? So my role as the uh, research chair for uh, the Research Council at the AUA is to advocate for uh, funding for urologic diseases, to uh, work with NIH, uh, NIDDK, NCI, big uh, uh, government institutes that fund urologic research and, and advocate for funding for those diseases. Uh, another goal is to bring all stakeholders who are doing urologic research together in order to improve the, the team science uh, that, that's required of, of uh, performing science in this day and age because science we know cannot be done in a silo anymore. It requires multiple expertise from different fields to bring people together. So, so another major goal of mine is to bring all of the uh, stakeholders together for better science. And uh, finally, I see my role as uh, uh, helping maintain and also train the next generation of the scientists who are interested in doing urologic research. Uh, urology research compared to other specialties, uh, we have lagged behind in, as far as funding and the number of applications to NIH for urologic research has been on a decline. And the major reason for that is, that, is because um, they train scientists who can write competitive grants. Um, has declined over the years and, uh, and as a result uh, we don't have properly trained individuals who can write grants for appropriate funding um, and, uh, and uh, you know, move our disease processes to the level that we can improve the care for our patients. So is the challenge about persuading the government uh, NIH to provide more funding or is the challenge to provide more uh, research qualified research people to actually be able to... So the challenge is multifactorial. It's become more and more difficult for all specialties to obtain external funding. As a result, uh, you know, it becomes more challenging right. for people to pursue that type of a career. Uh, and also uh, the challenge is that we have less individuals going into research because of the restructuring of the training programs. Um, there's less time devoted to research and uh, and as a result, less people get exposed and less people get interested and less people get trained. Um, so so it's, 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 it's a multi-pronged approach uh, and, and we're trying to deal with it from multiple different levels. It seems, final question, it would seem to me quite important to get this right. Yeah. But we need research and we need research to, 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 to flourish. Absolutely. Uh, and, uh, and I think, uh, you know, without the properly done research, you know, we can't understand what are the disease processes so that we can come up with new therapies and new drugs and new treatment strategies for our patients. And without that, um, uh, our specialty and our patients uh, would suffer. Well, thank you very much indeed for taking time to talk to us. Appreciate it. Sure. Thank you thank for you. having me.